and your teacher today is Boris Johnson. Boris will be giving us an English grammar lecture which will explain the difference between three often confused verb forms. Used to, get used to and be used to. So, who is Boris Johnson? Boris was born in 1964 and has been married three times, most recently in 2021. He has seven children. He attended Eton Public School and later Oxford University. He was the UK Prime Minister and Conservative Party leader from 2019 to 2022. Under Johnson's leadership, the Conservative Party achieved their largest share of votes since 1979. As Prime Minister, he signed the Leaving Europe Agreement, known as Brexit. But the scandal of alcoholic parties at Number 10 Downing Street during Covid restrictions, called Partygate, finally brought about his resignation. Before that, he was Foreign Secretary and Mayor of London. As Mayor of London, he introduced new cycle highways and set up bicycle hire infrastructure for the capital. Apart from cycling, he is a huge cricket fan. Welcome, Teacher Boris. Ladies and gentlemen, students of the English language, my name is Boris and welcome to my English grammar lesson. Before we begin, I must warn you, I am no ordinary English teacher. I'm an ex-mayor of London. I'm an ex-British Prime Minister. And in fact, I seem to have a few exes going on in my life at the moment, including two ex-wives. But today, I am going to teach. You are going to learn and together we're going to get this job done, just as I did with Brexit. I hope we can form a special relationship, the kind of relationship I had with my friend across the Atlantic, President Trump. Of course, a student-teacher relationship in this case. I don't know if you all enjoy cycling, but Anyway, let's hold on tight and let's pedal through these grammar rules. We don't want to be breaking any rules, do we? What we are looking at today is used to. When we want to talk about something that happened regularly but doesn't happen anymore, or something that was true in the past but now is not true. For example, when I was Prime Minister, I used to ride my bicycle along the cycle highway to Downing Street, where I lived and worked. Oh, those were the days. We used to have some incredible office parties, although I did face a little criticism about that later, uh, Partygate, etc. What else did I used to do? Well, some say I'm a bit of a ladies' man, I suppose I always used to admire a fine filly, I mean a young lady. Well, show me a full-blooded male who doesn't. Right, let's try an interactive exercise, shall we? First, I'm going to rely on the technology behind me to support what I'm saying. But first, think of a past time reference. Now, think of something you used to do in the past, but you don't do it anymore. It could be a job, uh, something you prefer or dislike. Just write in this space. You can see here there are some different time references. You don't have to have a time reference. But these time references, like a few years ago, in 2014, when I was at university, 
These are time references. When I worked for Rolls Royce, I used to go to the pub every evening. Uh, I used to believe in God, but I don't anymore. I used to be a popular Prime Minister, but I don't have the support of the British public anymore. It's a negative form. I'm sure you can try with some imaginative ones. Uh, for example, when you talk about belief, believing something. When I was a child, I used to believe in Father Christmas, but I don't anymore. I used to believe I would be a popular Prime Minister, but unfortunately, my dream did not come true. Practice this sentence. I used to play rugby when I was a student at Oxford University. It's true. We also need to pay attention to the negative and question forms. Here you will notice with the spelling, the D is dropped when did is used. For example, in a negative sentence, I didn't used to travel by bus. And in the question form, did you used to travel by bus? It's just the spelling, but not the pronunciation that changes. It's always used to, used to, used to. Now let's look at get used to. This is a variation of used to. This phrase describes the process of becoming accustomed to something new or different, perhaps adapting to a change. When I first introduced the cycle highway, it took some time for people to get used to the idea of cycling away from the traffic, but it soon became very popular. People had to adjust their habits and get involved with the two-wheeled revolution. Here's an example sentence. It took a while, but eventually Londoners got used to the idea of cycling on the new cycle highway. Can you think of something you have got used to? Perhaps a habit you have changed? Please tell me in the comments section at the end of the video. For example, as for me, I have got used to no longer being British Prime Minister. In summary, get used to get used to is all about the process and the process can be in the past, in the present or in the future. For example, I will never get used to being unemployed. I need challenges in my life. Last but not least, we have the third variation, be used to. This phrase tells us that someone is already familiar with or comfortable with a particular situation or experience. They have embraced the change or perhaps they may have found the change difficult. As mayor, I was used to cycling through the crowded streets of London. It became routine for me. Here's an example sentence. After years of cycling as London Mayor, I was used to the rush hour traffic. And again, you can use different tenses. For example, as a question, are you used to living in London? And in a negative form, my wife is not used to the London underground system yet. The lines are so confusing for her. Now let's shift gear and confirm our understanding with a little exercise, shall we? I've come up with five questions that will highlight the difference between these verb forms. Let's work together with our special relationship and get this job done. Please pause the video if you would like longer 
to think about the answers. Sometimes, if you are being questioned, of course, you take the best advice, but sometimes it can take a while to come up with the correct answer. That's exactly what I found when I was investigated about my part in Partygate. So let's start this quiz. And I am just going to give you the sentence with the correct answer. So after you have completed these questions, just play through the video and listen to my answers. When Boris Johnson was the mayor, he used to ride his bicycle to work every day. So the answer used to. A. Number two. Londoners got used to the idea of the cycle highway after some time. So got used to is B. Number three. As mayor Boris Johnson was used to the challenges of cycling in the city. The answer is C. Number four. I used to live near the cycle highway, but I moved away last year. Answer is used to. A. Number five. When the cycle highway was first introduced, it took some time for people to get used to it. The answer is B. Well, how did you do with those questions? Did you take on board my advice? Did you follow me, ex-Prime Minister Boris Johnson, and learn something? Did we get the job done? Please let me know in the comments section. All right, my dear English language fans, I hope you enjoyed this little input session. Remember, just as the cycle highway transformed London streets, mastering this grammar will transform your English language skills. Keep pedalling forward and before you know it, you'll get used to speaking better English every day.